Question 13. The diagram below shows the flow of blood in the human body. So we can see a, a list of arrows here showing from lungs to heart, from heart to body, from body back to heart, and from heart back to the lungs. And then we have X here between the heart and the lungs. Well, the graph below shows the amount of carbon dioxide in four blood samples obtained from the blood cells, sorry, obtained from the blood vessels in different parts of the circulatory system. So if you look at this graph here, it shows that B has the highest amount of carbon dioxide, followed by C, followed by A, and last but not least, D. So which blood sample is mostly taken from the flow of blood at X, which is here? Okay, let's make a note here. Between the lungs and the heart, the blood that goes from the lungs to the heart is blood rich in oxygen. Okay, and blood rich in oxygen means low in carbon dioxide. Okay, the same goes for here. From the heart to the rest of the body is blood rich in oxygen. And low in carbon dioxide. The opposite happens here. When it is from the body to the heart, it is blood rich in carbon dioxide. and low in oxygen. Okay, the same goes for X. When the blood is returned from the heart to the lungs, it is blood rich in carbon dioxide and low in oxygen. So these two, we know that this blood rich in carbon dioxide. But when we compare these two, okay, X has a higher amount of carbon dioxide because it is the last few gases that is returned to the lungs to be exhaled out of the body. So it should be the highest in carbon dioxide. So when... We are being asked which sample is most likely taken from the flow at, of blood at X. It must be sample B because B has the highest amount of carbon dioxide. So answer is 2, B.